We found it! Oh man, we found it, you guys! It just, I just came right around the corner and boom, there, I saw green. Oh, that is such a beautiful sight. We found it, finally! Oh, it was just, it's just north of the, the city, too. Oh man, that is just the most beautiful sight in the world. And welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulty. Zombies are all set to nightmare speed. We play on a map that's almost entirely made up of wasteland, and we are looking for a green biome. A small green biome, an oasis in the midst of this dead, wasted, zombie, and buzzard-infested land. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so i got to get you guys caught up. Uh, before we get caught up, though, let's... um. Let's go ahead and do what brings me great, great pleasure, and that is sniping a buzzard in stasis. And then I'll let you know what's going on here. Okay. Um, so, uh, I spent uh, the last, uh, uh, or since I had you guys in the last episode, uh, I spent some more time uh, just kind of lurking around. And uh, we were. This is the the mega city, and I set down a bedroll on top of um, uh, the top of an awning in front of one of the bookstore skyscrapers, and then I uh, headed west, uh, all the way to the west coast, and then down all the way to the southwest. So we are in the. There was a buzzard around somewhere. There he is. Uh, we are in the. Is he coming down here? Uh, the far southwest of the map. Okay, so if if I move, you know, the map up to the the northeast corner, it doesn't go any further. So this is as far southwest as we can go, and I just wanted to come down here and just verify, you know, 100% that there are no, you know, that the forest biomes not it isn't down here. So what we're gonna do, uh, and I've already done this, but I want to do it on camera so you guys can see me do it, is that uh, we're gonna actually look directly to the east, so this way. Um, unfortunately, it's raining, though, so we're going to have kind of a hard time seeing. But uh, what I basically did is I hunkered down uh, for the night. Whoops. Uh, on top of one of the, you know, the, the overpasses that are here in the wasteland. And just, you know, waited out the night. Now, I've been hounded more than ever since I can, I can remember starting this series. I've been hounded by buzzards just incessantly. You know, attacking me. I can hardly get a hundred, you know, a hundred yards on the on the mini bike before I'm attacked by a new one, uh, and and it's like they keep spawning in. So, you know, I don't know if it, if it's because we have a, a a buzzard horde or what, but uh, they just they just keep you know hounding me, and and they've made caused me to you know use up all my almost all my my pain pills, and it's just been a real hassle. Um. So yeah, I mean I'm down I'm down to two pain painkillers and I have two med med kits and that's it. Uh, so that's been really frustrating. Uh, looks like we we lost a little bit of health cap t too. So let's take um let's take a normal bandage. I do have one point in uh you know in the medical thingamadoodle. What's it called? He healing factor. So I have one point in that. So my my health does very slowly come back and so it did you know come all the way back except for. The little bit of cap that I'm missing there uh, last night as I just kind of hunkered down. Uh, so, I, yeah, I just basically put myself in this little cube and then I went AFK. Uh, I had to do a couple of things uh, in real life and then it came back uh, run, when morning started. So anyway, okay, so the plan today is um, we're going we're gonna to look out over here as soon as the rain's finished and confirm, you know, that there's no green biome there. And then I'm going to hop on the bike and I'm going to start working my way north until... I get somewhere around here-ish, okay? Because we, we've we've been this far, and we've, you know, probably been able to look, I, I don't know, maybe this far south when we were in this area here a long time ago. And so what I want to do is I want to get to right around here or so. This is actually a really large lake, so I think the lake probably, you know, is, is about that big or so. And um, so we'll get just beyond that lake, and then I'm going to kind of cut diagonally back to the northeast because this is really the the only other part of this whole map that we have not haven't discovered yet. So if there is a forest biome on this map, it's got to be in this area somewhere in here. 
And it is my goal and my hope that we find it by the end of this episode. Okay, uh, so I'm not. I, I'm gonna uh, cut the camera when I make that trip, and I'll, I'll bring you back. You know, once we get to here and start crossing over, uh, just because you know I, I want to. I want to make sure that I'm not not doing too much of the same old same old is what I'm trying to say because I know a lot. You know, several of the last episodes that we've done have really just been me driving around looking for this green biome, you know, and I don't, I don't want to do too much more of that because you guys are probably getting tired of seeing it. So uh, that's what we'll do. But we need to wait for the stupid rain to let up so we can see off in the distance. And then what we're going to do is we're going to nerd pull um, up really high and then use the scope on our rifle uh, to look way off to the, you know, back east and just confirm, you know, based upon what we can visibly see that there's no forest biome in that area and then once we've done that I'll be pretty satisfied you know that it's not in the south and we would go on that last stretch of land uh, to look for it because I mean if it like I said if it exists on this map it's got to be there there's no other place that it can be um, I'm, I'm pretty confident you know that I've I've searched everywhere else on the map based upon you know where we have been and what I've been able to to look at you know look out over to so you know this area you know we've when we were here you know we probably could see somewhere out to here I would say at least uh, that you know I don't know what you know, if there's mountains there or whatever but I mean if put it this way if the forest bound would have been right here we would have noticed it right coming down through there so um yeah it's just it's got to be in this general vicinity okay well damn it rain this is uh this is inconvenient <laughs> So I guess what I guess what I'll do is I'm just gonna wait until the stupid rain goes away, and then when it does, I'll bring you guys back. We'll take a peek out over in you know as far as we can see there with our scope on on you know maximum zoom. And if we don't see the forest bomb, then we're gonna we're gonna head north. So okay, guys. Well, <clears throat> I will bring you back when the when the rain finishes. There's nothing, nothing else really I can do, and I don't want to leave until we've confirmed 100% that uh, there's no forest biome over that way. Okay, so I'll see you when the rain goes away. All right, guys, we are back. Um, it took like friggin' hour and a half, in-game hour and a half, for the stupid rain to stop, uh, but now it has. So what the hell is that? A little water patch that hasn't rendered, maybe? Um, almost looks like there's a hole in the ground there. That is weird. Oh, it keeps shifting, too. Huh. Okay, well, anyway, um, so now we are looking off to the east, as you can see, and, um, you know, we can look quite a ways out with the scope. It's still a little bit hazy, but I think it's, you know, we can see good enough to, or well enough to, to see what's out there, and I'm not spotting anything that looks even remotely like a forest biome, as we kind of look, you know, and, and scan out in that area. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that there is no uh, forest biome in this, in this area here. You know, because we, we actually were here, too, and we were able to kind of look out this way. Uh, when I went across here, my visibility was probably at least to this line here. And I think, you know, we're, with our scope, we're probably looking out to this arc, I would guess, something like that. So I'm um, pretty sure there's no forest biome there. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop on the on the mini bike. We're going to have to fight the buzzards again. Uh, but we're going to get beyond this lake. Now, remember, this lake is huge. It's probably, I'd say, about this big or so. Um, but we're going to get to the north of that. And then we're going to kind of kind of cut kitty corner, head to the northeast across this last section. Uh, and I'm expecting to find uh, the forest biome in that area. So I will bring you guys back when we get to uh, probably to when we get uh, to the north of this lake, and we're ready to start doing that little uh, uh, kitty corner thing across the top there. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to give you a quick update on where we're at. We've worked our way uh, up the coast here, um, and we're right at this little uh, mountain range here. So I think what I'm going to do is. Um, Let's just hike up here really quick and take a look. This, The rain is just being such a pain in the ass right now. I don't know why it's got a, all of a sudden rain all the time, you know, when I'm trying to find <laughs> the forest biome. But I figured what we'd do is we'd get up on this, you know, the top of this little ridge here and, and then, you know, take a peek and see 
if we can spot anything. Uh, but like I said, the rain just makes that so difficult at this point. Um, all right, what I'll do is I'll just hike over to maybe that peak there, and then hopefully, you know, by the time I get over there, the rain will have let up at least enough for us to, you know, take a look and see if we can spot anything. Okay, so <clears throat> it looks like um, we're looking out over that lake. Yeah, that pl that lake is enormous, huge, huge lake, and um, and I can't obviously I can't see beyond it, not with the rain. Oh man, this rain! Come on, game! <laughs> it's fighting me. This game does not want me to find the green biome. It is like throwing everything it has at me to prevent me from finding our oasis. Ah, oh, cannot believe it. Okay, well, um, I guess, what time is it? It's 9.49. I don't know if it's, if it's going to be worth my while to, to wait. Oh, never mind. The rain's disappearing. Okay, so let's let it, see, now we can actually see out that way. <clears throat> uh, all right, so we've got... Yeah. I'm not seeing anything that remotely looks like a forest biome, as far as we can see. All right, so that means then what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna work our way around this mountain range to somewhere probably about here, and then we'll start cutting across that way. So I will bring you back uh, when we get to that point. Don't go away. All right, guys, update. Um, we've made it to uh, the north end of the lake uh, and kind of went up this valley, over the mountain, through this valley, and then kind of crossed over this way. Pretty rugged terrain there. So let's take another peek out yonder and see what we can see. More lakes and mountains off. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> off that direction. Still no forest biome. Damn, okay. So I think what I want to do at this point is... Uh, I, I want to go kind of north, uh, or east by northeast maybe. Uh, stay a little bit further to the south, just because here again, we've, you know, when we went, or uh, when we crossed over here, we probably were able to see, I'm guessing right about to here maybe. So... What we might actually end up doing is like a zigzag pattern. So we'll kind of go up this way and then up this way and up this way and so on and so forth uh, as we continue to look. So I think what the goal will be that uh, that mountain there is directly east of our position. So we might head for that mountain there ish. And then once we get there, then we'll take, you know, we'll get off and we'll take another uh, scan of the horizon. Okay, so I will uh, bring you back for another update uh, when we get to that point there. All right, guys, update time. I think I'm off in the distance there. I think those are like just pre-renderings of the of the skyscrapers. Maybe I'm not sure. Oh, come on! Don't get cloudy again, dog. Gone it. All right, well, I wanted to look off to the south. Um, and I don't see a forest biome. So I'm pretty sure, you know, it, as we look, you know, down through this way, there's no forest, visible forest biome. Every once in a while in, in the, the wasteland, it actually gets actually clear, but it doesn't stay that way for long. Then it gets back to its normal yellow sickly yellow haze <sighs> I'm so sick of this place <laughs> um, we had a drop that I kind of guesstimated landed maybe right around in this area I mean that's not our priority but if we can if we can find it I mean why not right could have more ammo could have more 
medical uh, supplies because I really used a lot of medical supplies up from the buzzards yesterday. Um, I believe there's like a chest underneath or something underneath uh, those hay bales there. Okay, well, let's see. So we're we're pretty convinced that nothing there's nothing here. Um I guess we just keep heading east or or more northeastish. In fact, you know what? Let's So we've been here. Let's aim for right right about there. So that's going to be that direction. Lots of mountains in this area, my word. Uh, okay, yep, so let's do that, and um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go way out of my way to try and find that drop, but I'm gonna sort of kind of look for it. <laughs> that was, uh, <clears throat> that was kind of bad timing. It didn't really hurt us too much, though. All right, well, obviously we found the supply crate. What do we got? Uh, yeah, we'll take those, we will take those, we will take, uh, the, uh, 44s. Normally I would grab that, I think we already have some of this in the mini bike. Normally I would grab these, but I'm not going to, because we don't have room for them. Kind of hoping we'd find, uh, some medical stuff, but, you know, I'll take ammo. Absolutely, we'll take more ammo. I'm not complaining about that at all. Oh, we actually have a magnum right there, too. Okay, good. Uh, we don't need those. Let's get rid of those. And yeah, I think we're good. Food and water's down just a little bit, but not enough yet for me to worry about it. We've got a... We've got a uh, backpack off that way. Okay. Um, let's see. Where's our marker at? Right here. Okay. So we'll head over uh, towards the red marker. Oh, 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 look. Look, 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 look. We found it. Oh, man. We found it, you guys. It just I just came right around the corner and boom there I saw green. Oh that is such a beautiful sight. We found it finally. Oh, it was just it's just north of the the city too. Oh man, that is just the most beautiful sight in the world. I can't tell you how beautiful that is to my my character's eyes. <laughs> Woo! All right. Let's go. There it is. Nestled in some mountains, at least on this side. No wonder we couldn't see the damn thing. Does it even have a road leading into it? Maybe we're asking for too much, huh? Oh, man, we found it, you guys. That's so awesome. That is so awesome. Okay, we've got a buzzard over there. That would be great if this, if it had... Oh, look, look, look. I see green. I see green. Green. Oh, beautiful. Looks like maybe we do even have a paved road. Taking us right on into town. Look at that. Oh. It took us 46, right? 46 episodes to find this place. And we have finally found it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ah. This is great, you guys. Just kind of brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> it 
This is awesome. We found it. We found it. Ah, uh, all right. Wow. I never would have guessed that it would have taken us this long. 45, 46 episodes in a period of about two months in real life, I think. Something like that, right? Month and a half, two months. To finally find this green biome. I never I, I never would have thought that it would have taken me this long to find it. But we finally found it, and that's what matters. Oh, this is great. This is so great. Okay, well, I guess um, the first order of business is we need to f figure out where the trader's at. We're supposed to have one trader um, in the town here. And wherever that trader is, that's where we want to we wanna base, you know, right next to it, nearby. And uh, tomorrow night's horde night too, by the way. So we got we got that to deal with. But that's probably that's probably just going to be me uh, purchasing uh, purchasing perching up on a a stout POI because I'm not going to have time to make any kind of a preparation. And it's going to be a nasty horde anyway. On top of that, so oh wow. Okay, look, there's wasteland over there. So this is definitely not a very large green biome. It is pretty small. Okay, well that's fine. That's fine. Um, let's let's go as far south as we can first. We got to find the trader. Man, listen to the birds chirping. It's just beautiful. It's <laughs> so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay. Finally, don't have to listen to that desolate wind sound. And the baby zombie crying, and the creaking of metal trusses, and the, all the nasty sound that the damn wasteland has. Uh, is that a trader? It would be. It kind of suck if, if the trader's still in the in the wasteland too, but at least it would be close by. That's the barn. Okay. Well, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to kind of skirt the border of the place. We might as well do that anyway so we can kind of map it out just so we know where, you know, where it starts and where it ends. Okay, we got another road going out to the south, too. You know what would be awesome is if we had a road that took us right to the city. Um, the city, because the city is like almost directly it is directly south of us so if this road goes right to the city that'll be great because then we'll just have an easy you know easy egress into into the city from our our beloved greenbaum i just want to go down here a little ways just to make sure the trader's not down this way I don't think it will be, though, because, again, it's supposed to be in the forest biome. Really, the road just leads right to the to the farm and then ends. Interesting. Well, maybe we won't have a direct route to the city. This is going southwest. I know you guys are probably going, why are you going back out in the wasteland already? Okay, no, there's the city. Okay. Yep. So it looks like we do have roadway pretty much all the way to the city, which is really good. Or close enough to where, you know, we're good to go. It's a little bit rough through here. Nice. Okay, good. Good deal. So this looks like just a, a block of the city that's kind of extended out further. Maybe? Maybe not. Well, anyway, close enough. Close enough. 
Okay, good. So let's go back. Might need to put some more gas in here. Um, do we have gasoline in our inventory? We do now. Uh, let's put this in here. Okay, I'm happy now. Very happy that we finally found our green biome. Can we just go scooch through this way? Maybe we can make our own road through here. Well, maybe not that easily. <laughs> Yeah, we were moving so, through some pretty rough terrain trying to get over here. It was nuts. It was crazy, I tell you, crazy! Yeah, we could actually follow follow this road too, because it just kind of wraps around there and then we could pop out to the city that way. Okay, cool. Very good, very good. I'm just keep, keeping my eyes peeled for the traitor. So, I've been thinking about, you know, what the next move is now that we finally found our beloved green biome here. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to just stay here for a while and I'm going to I'm going to make get a base going. And then I'm going to, at some point, uh, I want to go back to our original, you know, prison base. This is probably just going to go up there, isn't it? Well, let's go up here. You know, and, and get our stuff. But I would like to have... Uh, I'd like to have at, at least the motorcycle by that point. Just because, you know, of storage space, because we can only carry so much stuff in here in the mini bike. And as I as I indicated in um, I think it was the last video, I'm gonna do a lot of that stuff off camera. I might live stream some of it if you know if you guys want to come and hang out with me on on Twitch, uh, live stream some of it. But I probably won't do a whole lot of episodes of us you know getting set up in the green biome. And I explained the reason for that yesterday is because. Um, you know, this is a Wasteland Survival Series. Hey, is that the traitor? No, wait, is it? No, that's not a traitor. And, you know, so it doesn't it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me to do a bunch of videos in the Green Biome when it's in the Wasteland Survival Series. So, um, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. And I will I'll still I'll still put out videos, of course, but they'll be, you know, like update videos. Here's where we are now, you know, kind of thing. And then when we get to the point where we're ready to go into the city and really start, you know, looting, you know, then then we'll get back to more, you know, more consistent episodes. Or more continuitous episodes is what I'm trying to say. Continuitous? Is that even a word? Continuitous. It doesn't sound right to me for some reason. But let's... um. Let's just, like I said, let's map out kind of the border of the green biome so we know how big it is, you know, what we what we have to work with. And it is, definitely doesn't look very big to me, but that's okay, you know. It's not, it wasn't supposed to be very big. It's kind of bumpy going through here. So yeah, we're just going to ride along the border and get it mapped out. And hopefully we'll we'll figure out where the trader is too. It's going to be so nice actually having a trader now. You know, because we can do missions, we can buy and sell stuff. It's 
gonna it's gonna help a lot because you know we've done everything we've done up to this point we've done without any trader at all which is a bit unusual for you know for seven days to die because you know the trader is a big part of how you play this game now and has been for you know a few alphas so not having access to one is has really made things uh, extra challenging I guess Okay, well, it looks like uh, the green biome does stretch out to the north a ways. It doesn't seem very large, you know, from east to west, though. Let's stay on this side of the river. So once we get it all mapped out, you know, then we'll then we'll take a look at the at the map itself and just kind of see what we're working with. Okay, so now it looks like we're on the northern border. Yeah, it's not it does, it's not very big north to south either. Still haven't spotted the trainer yet. Wow, look at that cliff over there, goodness. You know the crazy thing about it too, guys? Look how close. Look how close we were to this and we didn't even know it. We were so close when we came through here. But you know what? When I came through here... Oh, shit! <laughs> We're in the green paradise bound, but that doesn't mean we're not going to get running hordes still. <coughs> Jeez Louise. Look at that road, man. That is wild. Um, You know, actually, the forest does go up here a little ways more, too. Anyway, what I was trying to say was when... Uh, I believe when we came down through that way, I was, like, really zipping along trying to get back to my stuff. Because that was when we died and we had to come back, you know? Uh, we do have some more green patch up here, but it's just, it's kind of crazy to see, you know, how close we were to it. We were so close. I wonder if there's, is there a mountain range there? It's very possible that it, this biome would have been visible to us if we would have really been looking, but I don't think we were. I mean, we were just... We were in such a hurry to get back to our bag that we just went right on by it. Oh man, that could have that could have saved us so much time. You know, because I don't know what what was that five or six? Well, it wasn't that many episodes ago, but for me, it was a long time ago. You know, yeah, it might have be, even been out on that that road. Well, no, yeah. See, there's this road here. Wow. We were so close to it. <laughs> oh, well, it doesn't matter now. We found it. That's what's important. We have found it now. Okay. Well, let's uh let's finish mapping the place out. We have had that uh running horde over here. It's probably still they're probably still meandering around. Whoa, oh, just did a 180. I just don't want that horde to pounce on me while I'm trying to come up this hill because I can't move very fast. 
I don't even see them. Okay, well, let's just keep going. I'm sure they're around somewhere. So, you know, the, the thing about it is, you know, in, in terms of my my plan that I'm thinking about is there's two ways to look at it, right? It's it'll it'll take us a little bit longer to gather up the resources that we need you know to make do we have a, any beakers with us? We do. We do have beakers. Okay. Hmm. To make, you know, all of our equipment again here versus just going back and grabbing it you know from you know from the prison base and bringing it down here but now that i know we have beakers because that would be one of the harder things to find you know to get the kim bench that even makes me more tempted to just stay here for a while the other advantage to that is that it, then it leaves that outpost uh up in the up in the north at the prison base and you know that way if we ever had to go back up there for some reason we have another base right that's equipped though honestly i don't know if we will ever go back up there just because you know the city's in the south and that's really kind of our end goal so we'll have to see uh i don't think i want to cross this river because the bank's really steep on the other side so let's just go around this way Yeah, little dippity do there. If the trader doesn't manifest himself, itself, herself, whatever, by doing our little, you know, border mapping, then we'll just have to explore the town. And I'll, I'll actually, you know, we'll, we'll do that on camera. We'll do the town on camera. after we kind of get situated, you know? You know what I really should do before I do anything else? Now that I think about it? We should put a bedroll down. <laughs> we should put a bedroll down. Um, and it is getting late, too. So let's see. Where do we want to do that at? We need to do it at a somewhat safe place. Uh, we could do the awning again, like we did, or like I did before. Just go up on top of here. We don't have to worry about buzzards, so we'll be, like, completely safe up there as long as we don't attract a big night horde. Um, let's, uh, get some grass going. Oh, man. It is so nice to be here. I just can't express with words how nice it is to be here, you guys. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just great. It is just amazing. Okay. So this, of course, is temporary. This is just for tonight, really. Because our number one priority tomorrow is going to be figuring out where our base is going to be. Well, we have two priorities. Figure out where our base is going to be, but also um, find the traitor. Because that then will dictate where our base is going to be. Uh, oh, can I... Oh, there we go. This is a half block. That's why it's all weird there. Um, I would also actually like to make a chest. So let's do that. I'd rather not attract the attention of a bunch of Zekers right now. And let's put some stuff in here and free up some inventory. Okay, um... I'm going to put all of that in there. We'll keep, we'll keep this. We don't need the Magnum stuff. Uh, let's put the full stack of meat in there. We'll keep the feathers. We don't need the grain alcohol or the paper. We'll keep the gas. We'll put the eggs in there. Keep the cloth. We don't need the hammer right now. Don't need those. I kind of don't really want to be without the rest of my tools there. 
But anyway, that frees us up a little bit of space. Is this just one Zeker down here? Or... Yeah, it's just him. Let's put him out of our misery. Got a little bit of lag going on here. I'm hearing the... I'm hearing the bullet hit before the gun sounds off. That is weird. Oh, look, there's a deer. Our first deer, you guys! <laughs> That's the first deer we've seen on this playthrough. It's a beautiful sight. I'm not even going to kill it right now because we got plenty of meat. We'll let the deer live for now. Maybe we can, maybe we can like tame it, like you know, Ark, and it'll be our pet. I don't think so, but that'd be fun. That'd be fun if you could actually do that in this game. You know what would be cool is if we could do like a Michonne thing and actually tame the zombies. <laughs> that'd be awesome. Oh man, that would be fun. Uh, anyway, okay, let's uh, let's grab a couple more things out of here too. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, keep the backup mini bike. We don't need to carry. In fact. There's very little in here that we actually need to carry around with us. So, you know what we're going to do is let's uh, let's just drop it all off right now. And that way, you know, if something really, 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 really bad happens and we actually die here, we still have plenty of supplies back here to recover from. Okay. Uh, let's keep that with us. This is stuff that we want to sell to the trader, but, you know, uh, um, we'll worry about that later. We don't need to sell stuff right this instant. We'll put the, we'll put the mini bike in there and half of our gasoline. Uh, yeah, I guess we, well, let's keep this in case we find, like, a vending machine. That would be useful. <laughs> Let's put the coffee in there. We don't need that right now. Okay. I don't really mind riding around at nighttime uh, in in the green biome. It's not nowhere near as dangerous as it is uh, in the in the wasteland. So we're we're gonna actually continue looking for uh, you know finishing mapping out the the biome here and trying to find the trader, even though we won't be able to go into the trader tonight, but that's okay. Alright, I think everything else we'll keep with us for the moment. But now we have lots of space. The first time in several episodes that we haven't actually been encumbered, which is nice. Uh, we got construction worker guy there. Okay. Let's keep, uh... Let's keep looking. So where did we leave off? Oh, we've already mapped it out, pretty much. We've already mapped out the border for the most part. Um, let's let's go finish this little part to the south off here. We got a Shamway factory, I, th I think. Did we see a, a shoddy Messiah factory too, or is it was just the Shamway? I don't know. We need to kind of go more this way. There's another deer. Well, there is... Okay... There is this, this road here, so let's um let's take that road and see where it leads. It's just that it's gonna branch off right up here. Man, it is dark. I can't see much. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, because we do have the beakers, 
that's really going to be the hardest thing, you know, for us to get. Everything else well, is relatively easy in terms of our crafting stations. Um, I, I almost def definitely will not now go back to the prison base. We just, there's not really any reason to. I mean, we probably will at some point, maybe when we have the 4x4 and lots of storage. Uh, but right now, it, I, I just don't think it makes sense for us to do that. Especially not right immediately now. Because, you know, we have some supplies, but we don't have an abundance of supplies by any stretch of the imagination, so... All right, well, I'd say we've done a pretty good job of mapping this place out. Uh, the borders out, I should say. I mean, obviously, there's not... Oh, shit. There's not going to be really anything there. I'll check those those little edge places that we haven't uncovered if I can't find the trader inside the town. Well, guys, um, I th think this is probably a good place to wrap up this episode. Um, so what we'll do in the next episode is we'll keep looking for uh, the trader, and we should we should find it in the next episode. It can't be. It's got to be somewhere around in here, I would think. Does that look like a trader there? Uh, no, not really. And then uh, what we'll what we'll do in the next episode is we'll just kind of, you know, uncover the rest of the town just to explore it, and um, you know, find the trader. And then I'm, I'll just figure out a place that I'll purchase, uh, you know, I, I said it again, purchase. Perch! I don't know what what's the matter with my mouth tonight. Uh, perch for the night, for the horde night, and let that just kind of blow itself over. Because I'm not equipped at all to, to put up any kind of a, of, a, of a fight. So we'll just hunker down. And then after the horde night's over, you know, then we go about uh, figuring out what we're going to do for a base, uh, whether that be a POI that we'll take over or if I actually maybe even build something from, from scratch, which might be kind of fun. And then we'll go from there. Okay. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And, um, <laughs> we finally found the forest by, oh man, it's taking such a long time. So excited about that. And, uh, what I'll probably do is I'll probably just pick up right where we left off, uh, in the next episode. And we'll just keep uncovering the town, look for the trader figure out where we're going to do Horde Night uh, and do that in the next episode, okay? So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, that sort of thing, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Oh, and everybody stay safe. Stay safe. Man, things are not uh, good in the world right now. Um, so I'm hoping all of you are staying as safe as you can, staying away from other people, and, and being well. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.